This is 2016 Masa Tree. I'm gonna review this car today since, well, another uncle decided to check my YouTube channel and say, okay, why not review my Mazda? They're very nice. Yeah, of course I can review any any car that's not new. That'll, it will be uh, honestly a great experience, you know, to have a Mazda in the video because everyone loves Mazda, right? So that we're gonna review this today. Now of course the Mazda tree starts at 126,000 ringgit, maybe even 124,000 ringgit. Then it goes all the way up to 130 to 132,000 ringgit, if not mistaken. And honestly, it's less expensive than a Honda Civic that you can get today, which is obviously good value for the car, because honestly, this 2022 Civic is very expensive, 130 to 150k. So that's very interesting to say about ring Malaysian ringgits, I guess. That's how our exterior looks from the front first. So if, first of all, we got this LED headlight and this one has RFID stickers. So that's for Malaysia's toll system like that. And we here we have a fog light and a fake air vent. Oopsie daisies there. Here we have a big grill, quite big grill, but it is real. I can show you, look, it's real. You don't, it's no fake We On the other side, it's also real. And over here we've got the front splitter which is kind of blended with the color but well it is kind of not as well on the other side though it's just uh, the same exact thing as the, as the uh, outside so we're gonna move into the side now since we're all done first of all you notice these beautiful chromey uh these steel wheels these wheels i need to check them first what what size they are I believe they are 17 inches. Nope, these are actually 18 inch wheels. And then here you got a brake caliper with a silver wrapping color on it. And if we go to the side here, we have a nice body line that goes through the car. And then the, the window just like lifts up, like it goes up as a very sleek look to give the really sleek look. Then even body colored door mirrors, which are, which are non-adjustable, honestly. Then we just go to the back. Which is basically also the other 18 inch wheels over here. It doesn't have a paint scratch. You know, but here we just have some LED tail lights as a standard. The Master Tree badge is just there. And then we also have the Sky Active Technology uh, badge here. And then we go down down here. A rear fault right. And this is a rear, the rear bumper. I just need to know the exhaust. The exhaust is there. It's there. It's, it's not, it's hidden. It's hidden, but it's over there. And yeah, let's take for exterior view. How about the interior? So, we are in the interior of the Master Tree. As you can see, we have a glove box where you can keep all your stuff and stuff, stuff that you need to. You have your, you have a very, very small infotainment screen. But over here, climb control and your seats are all in the analog configuration. And, and over here, you got your storage space which you it's quite, quite easy to open here you've got a manual handbrake which is really good anyway then you have a gear shift which has a is an automatic so it does have a manual mode and this car does have pedal shifters as you can see and now you've got the steering wheel area of course you have your dash display which is a half analog half digital as you can see over here you have your steering wheel which has all the stuff that you actually need and of course um over here, your storage, more storage space in here is a cup holder. And not as practical as the Honda Civic still, but it's quite okay to manage. They have nice leather seat with a red stitching as well. It's one of the best parts. Stiff. Very stiff. And now we just, we should do something, of course. The, the tradition on the channel is to actually slam the door. That's okay. How about this door? Alright, we're gonna go in the back now. Quite messy in the back. But it's okay, I can serve you. Headroom is quite decent. You can see that the headroom is very decent indeed. And of course the, the back of course um has a short overhang um if it's if you uh notice it. And does this have the amazing feature on cars nowadays? Yes it does. Very beautiful sleek everything. Alright. And of course we have we still have red stitching with your leather seat. It's very sporty these seats uh, I should say. Here you are your Mazda logo. This is very rare. I've never seen a logo on a carpet like on this section of the car before. And basically that's all for the back, which means we should also do one more thing. 
We are going to smell the back door. Which is okay. Now I don't reckon open the trunk on this. I'll hold this. Ah. Now that's interesting. Automatic. But then you have to slide it back all the way. Alright. So this is your trunk space. It's quite decent. Very big though. Bigger than the Civic one. It's larger than the Civic. A lot of space that you can fit back here. Amazing thing that you can basically do. You know. Right. Enough of that. Now we're going to close it. Um, does it have a manual? Okay. Let's we'll just uh, slam it down. Damn. Okay. Okay, good. Now we're done with the interior. You like? So this is an engine. It's a 2-liter natural aspirated 4-cylinder petrol engine. Sky technology. It makes 155 horsepower and 200 meters meters of torque. Charge front wheels by a Sky Active 6-speed automatic gearbox. And there's something interesting about this engine. You see, it has Sky Active technology. And when it does it, it has a high compression ratio, which makes the engine a lot more fuel efficient than other engines like the that even the Ativa has. So yeah, okay. press the brake and start. And over here you got your here you got your dash display. Okay, let's lower down that volume out. There we go. So as you can see, we are basically in start the car. And we can turn on the signals because we can. We're gonna turn the signal. See, we can even press this. So this, that's basically it. So this car is quite quiet for an engine for that's basically just two liters. And this car has done four thousand, almost five thousand kilometers. Interesting that this car has almost done five thousand kilometers. It's, 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 you know, it's interesting to, to see and it's, it's amazing. I ain't gonna rev it like, just like any, every other car that we've done, but I don't want to rev it because, well, I don't want to damage this engine. You know, it's sky active. I don't know if it's even capable, but maybe I am, maybe I will sit in a passenger seat and my uncle's gonna drive me around, cheat us with the sport mode and stuff. All right, and now we're just gonna stop the engine. Press the brake la <laughs> Press the brake Wow Wow It's really Vibration It's so simple Oh shit Me and my children Me and my children laughing at everything <laughs> Yeah this is vibration over here Serious vibration from the fourth cylinder Well, that's it for this review. If you enjoyed it, please give a like, subscribe, and of course, comment down for you go. What you what you really think? Do you think its competitors are actually better than this? Because well, the, the Honda Civic is basically better in performance, but I'm not really not in discomfort. But well, this is Mazda. We we really expect you know they they like the comfort and performance, but of course you know they're still a good company. This is still a very really good car. I recommend that you go get it if you want to. I mean, now it's the new Master 3, of course. <laughs> Alright, All right, so that's it for this video. And if you, um, that's it already. So, goodbye, guys.